Welcome to Rowan University's 2016 Commencement Ceremonies. The university will take aerial photographs throughout the program, so we ask that you not be alarmed if you see any hovering drones in the distance. If you are using an umbrella during the ceremony, please stand at the back or on the sides of the green so you do not block the view of other guests and participants. The procession is ready to begin. Please turn off all cell phones and please remain seated during the procession so everyone can see. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our national anthem and remain standing for the invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Donald Farnelli, Grand Marshal. Good morning, members of the class of 2016, your families, friends, and the Rowan University community. My name is Dr. Donald Alfonso Farnelli. I am an associate professor in the Department of Physics and Astronomy here at Rowan University. Currently, I'm in my 52nd year at Rowan, and as the longest tenured, <laughs> thank you, as the longest tenured full-time faculty member on campus, I am honored to present today's invocation and benediction and to serve as the Grand Marshal for commencement. Graduates, with the busyness that is commencement, the speeches, the ceremony, the celebrations to follow, may you all take a moment to reflect on who and what helped you reach this day. Of course, that included your own efforts. It also included the support of your loved ones and the Rowan University family. I hope that you will give thanks to those people and events that enabled you to reach this milestone. And I hope also that you will congratulate yourselves. Family, friends, professors, staff, community members, 
honor guests, join our students in celebrating all that has made this day a reality. And may this commencement ceremony be memorable to each and every person here today. Thank you and please be seated. Now, Dr. Jim Newell, Rowan University's provost. Good morning. It is my pleasure to introduce our special guests. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. President, Dr. Ali Hushman. From the Rowan University Board of Trustees, Ms. Isabelita Abel, Mr. Chad Bruner, Mr. Kunal Patel, student trustee. Ms. Melissa Shore, student trustee. And our distinguished guests, Mr. Derek Pitts, keynote speaker. Mr. Anthony Woolrab, SGA president. Ms. Denise Williams, CWA president. Members of the cabinet, deans, faculty marshals, and other senior members of the administration. Last but not least, there are two very important constituencies that must be recognized as well. Students, please rise and face the people who are most important in your life. The parents, partners, brothers, sisters, and loved ones who have provided support and resources to help bring us to this day. Applaud them as you stand here ready to graduate. Secondly, please recognize your Rowan family, the faculty, staff, and administrators who share in your pride and success today. Please be seated. Good morning. My name is Chad Bruner. I'm the Vice Chairman of the Rowan University Board of Trustees. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you and your families and friends to Rowan University on behalf of faculty, staff, and administrators. I grew up in Glassboro, just beyond those trees, a few blocks over the railroad tracks during the 1970s and 80s. From then until now, my Rowan University has grown, just like each of you during the past four years. Your parents packed you up, dropped you off as teenagers, and now, you are men and women eager to become future leaders of tomorrow's world. I challenge you to embrace that role. Become a leader in your field, accept the challenges ahead, and overcome the barriers and obstacles along the way. I recently read a book on leadership called Above the Line. The lessons it taught are simple. It encourages you to lead above the line in an intentional, purposeful, and skillful way. Every day is a battle for whether we choose to live above the line or below the line. Above the line behavior is conscious and thoughtful and takes persistence and effort. Below the line behavior is impulsive on autopilot and resistant. Below the line is dangerous because it is comfortable and convenient. It is the path of least resistance. It takes little effort or skill and the best it can produce is just okay. Below the line is generally your default response. It is my default response too. It isn't hard to find people who are caught up in below the line behavior. All you need to do is look for those whose first reaction is to blame, complain, and defend, or BCD behavior. When there's a lot of BCD going on, it means people are not owning their mistakes and not being accountable. We need to ruthlessly eliminate BCD. Instead of accountability, it creates a culture of excuse making and victimization, things that are toxic to an organization and performance. It has never solved the problem, achieved the goal, or improved a relationship. In life, it is inevitable that you'll be presented with some type of challenging event, and every event will produce a certain outcome. There's a simple equation to remember when this happens, E plus R equals O. Event plus response equals outcome. This equation teaches us something very important about the way life works. We do not directly control the events in life, and we do not directly control the outcomes. 
but we always have control about how we choose to respond, and how we respond means everything. It is important to understand that success is not determined by the situations you experience, but rather by how you choose to manage what is called the R factor or the response. Every day, you will make R factor decisions. These are actions you take or not towards the pursuit of your goals, whether to give up or persevere through obstacles you experience, or how you choose to interact with people at work and with family at home. And how you respond makes all the difference in the world. So I encourage you and challenge you to not choose a default response that is below the line behavior. Take the event head on, choose an above the line type response, and watch how positive the outcome will be. Be a leader, be accountable, be consistent, fight for that every day. Make a difference, make your mark. Congratulations, class of 2016, you did it. Thank you, Mr. Chad Brunner. I'm so pleased that you did not insult University of Michigan once again as an Ohio State fan, so I'm grateful. Good morning, everyone. Come on, good morning. Show me some energy. You are about to leave this place after four or five or six years. <laughs> I am Ali Hushman, president of Rowan University. I'm so delighted to be here. Let me just go off the script and thank the parents. Parents, thank you very much. When you came in a few years back and trusted your most precious asset with us, asking us to take care of them, educate them, and send them back to the society as productive citizen and great taxpayers. We are about to return them to you. They're healthy, they're educated, they're wise, and hopefully very soon they will be very, very prosperous. I wish you all the best in the world. Thank you for your trust. Class of 2016 of College of Science and Mathematics and a School of Health Sciences, let me join in congratulating you on this milestone in your life. You have invested a great deal of time and energy to reach this day. You have studied hard, landed internship, led clubs and organizations, embraced the Rowan family and exhibited the Rowan spirit. I am proud of you, truly am. As you have come a long way in the last few years, so too has Rowan University. You have reaped some of the benefits of an evolving Rowan. The next generation of students will reap those yet to come. And you ain't seen nothing yet. In brief, I will tell you that your time here has been one of the remarkable growth and achievements. We now boast two medical schools and are just the second university in the nation to offer DO and MD. We gained research institution status. We are building new facilities for our Rower College of Business and Henry M. Rowan College of Engineering and new housing as well. We revitalized facilities in Camden and watched Rowan Boulevard explode with housing, retail space, and classrooms. We grew to more than 16,000 students and they are some of the best in New Jersey. Indeed, in the last decade, application jumped 59%, and RSAT score of regular admit students increased by 75 points. 29% of our students come from underrepresented populations. We added programs and offered more degrees. National publications and organizations continue to rank us in the top of, well, I can't say everything, but they certainly place many of our programs amongst the elite. So what does your future look like? While I cannot predict it exactly, I can share some goals we have. And as Rowan is very good at meeting and exceeding goals, I'm excited about where we are headed. By year 2023, we plan to grow to 25,000 students in traditional and non-traditional programs. And our medical school enrollment will grow to around 1,500 students. We will offer more than 100 undergraduate programs and more than 90 graduate doctoral and professional degree options. 
We will have finished our major capital projects, academic buildings and housing included. We will expand our collaborations in education with businesses, and we still will work to ensure accessibility to an, to an affordable college degree in tandem with our county college partners and others. Can you picture this? I can, and I have the, to add that while you may not be attending Rowan, when we surge ahead with those plans, they still will benefit you. Why? Because every one of your, our achievement makes the degree you receive today even more valuable. That said, everything you do from this day forward also benefits Rowan University. Graduates, you have been part of the story of remarkable growth and achievements at our university, at your university, and you will be a part of Rowan's future. As you end this segment of your education, I ask you to continue to contribute to Rowan's stature. Land jobs, create jobs, help build our communities and your communities, and remember your alma mater. The door always will be open here. Walk through it, mentor new students, serve on boards, volunteer, and remember, you have made us all proud. Congratulations to all of you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to welcome Derek Pitts as commencement speaker for the College of Science and Mathematics and a School of Health Professions. Mr. Pitts Twitter handles is cool astronomer. He's the cool guy. He's a really, really bright guy. For those of you who listen to NPR, I'm sure you've heard it. He's dropped elbows with at least one Star Trek cast member. He has been called a star among the stars. You may have caught him with a Stephen Colbert or Craig Ferguson. He's indeed a star in his field. As chief astronomer and director of the Fells Planetarium, Mr. Pitts has been an integral part of the Franklin Institute for close to four decades, designing and presenting many of the Institute's public programs and exhibits. No doubt, if you live in the greater Delaware Valley, you have seen at least one of them on a class trip in elementary school or on a visit with your family. Since 1990, he has created nationally distributed astronomy and space science content for Philadelphia, PBS affiliated WHYY, TV and radio counterpart WHYY FM. He has also appeared regularly on national and international television network as a science content expert, and he was the U.S. spokesperson for the International Astronomy Union's International Year of Astronomy in 2010. He has served as a NASA Solar System Ambassador and served for three years as the NASA slash Minority Institute Research Support Astronomy, Astrology Ambassador. He's also a longtime member of the Greater Philadelphia Chapter of Tuskegee Airmen Incorporated, most recently serving as the chapter president for three years. Mr. Pitt has received numerous honors, including the Philadelphia Mayor's Liberty Bell, the inaugural fellow of the Wagner Free Institute of Science Award, the inaugural David Rittenhouse Science Achievement Award, and Please Touch Museum's Great Field Friend to Kids Award, and George Washington Carver Medal. Mr. Pitt was the only astronomer invited to participate in both the President Obama's White House's star parties as well as telescope operator. He served at the U.S. Science Museum, Planetarium, and Urban Outreach Advisor to the 30-meter telescope project, which takes him to the Maniaki Man, uh, Observatory in Hawaii at least once a year. Mr. Pitt. Mr. Pitts is a Philadelphia native, and he earned a bachelor's degree in science from St. Lawrence University. Please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker, Mr. Derek Pitts. Thank you. 
Thank you, President Hausman. Good morning, everyone. You know, it's a really fabulous honor for me to be here today to speak with you, first of all, because I love science. And nothing gives me greater pleasure than to see so many graduates in science and mathematics right here in front of me. So it's a real pleasure for me to be here. Also, I'll have to say, you guys have a rockin' house band. Wow. I have to get you to come play at some of my summer parties or something like that. That was really fabulous. So again, I'm very, very pleased to be here today to spend some time chatting with you about some things that have come to mind. First of all, let me just say a couple of things. One thing that President Hausman said is that uh, one of the things I do or I have done is I've worked for NASA as an astrobiology ambassador. Often people ask, well, what does that mean? And what I reply is that, and I actually did this on a television news program once with the commentator I said with a straight face, well, when aliens come to visit this planet, they have to check in with me first before they can go around to do any kind of medical experiments or tests on humans or animals. The guy actually fell for it. I couldn't believe he would fall for it. So I like to have fun with the science as well as uh, try to do everything I can to promote science. Two sayings came to mind as I sat to write my remarks for today. One is falsely attributed as an old Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. And the other, accurately attributed to President Barack Obama, he said, our destiny is not written for us, but by us. Now, de de despite its pedigree, the may you live in interesting times saying certainly has considerable merit in this year. In fact, we should all feel blessed that these times are not just interesting, but exciting, fascinating, and challenging. So what's interesting? First of all, this has got to be the most interesting presidential election year, some say, since the Civil War. Could anyone have predicted the outcome so far? Sure, of course. But the only person who bets the Phillies, the Flyers, and the Sixers will all get to the championships in the same year or decade. All of you now, though, have the civic responsibility, though, to help define the character and direction of this great nation for the next four years. While never an easy choice because of the magnitude of the job as not just the nation's leader, but as a world leader also, our choice sends a signal to the world revealing our values, our principles as a nation, and our intent for foreign policy. And for the first time in history, you vote not just as American citizens, but as citizens of the emerging global community, a fabric of younger generations sewn together by the amazing technology we all carry with us. We see some of it flying around in the sky today. Well, it's also an exciting time, and I'll use this as an example. Two weeks ago, I spent four days with the next scientist whose name, I think, will be counted along with Galileo and Newton and the others in the great astronomy pantheon. His name, Bill Baruki. Baruki is the NASA engineer who relentlessly hounded NASA management for nearly a decade to greenlight his idea to launch a special orbiting telescope to look for planets orbiting distant stars. NASA finally relented, and today, Baruki's Kepler Space Telescope has confirmed the existence of 1,047 new planets orbiting other stars at least 3,000 light years away. A new research paper soon to be released will reveal another 1,200 planets confirmed, many of them at a distance from their parent star where water can exist as a liquid. Think about that. 2,200 confirmed planets now known to be orbiting other stars. But why should this be exciting to you, you who have never known a time before satellite communication, before human space flight, before inexpensive DNA sequencing, genome matching, organ transplants, and bionic body parts? Well, because 25 years ago, there were only nine planets and no smartphones. It should be exciting because billionaire entrepreneurs like Jeff Bezos of Amazon and Elon Musk of SpaceX are independently charting a course to carry humans to Mars. 
to Mars. In the next four years, that's the plan that SpaceX has. All the stuff of fiction and imagination when you were born. You will become the star children the great San Francisco band Jefferson Starship spoke of in their music in 1967. It's all also fascinating in pursuit of the ultimate understanding of outer space at 27 kilometers around, 100 meters underground, and worth $10 billion, physicists at the Large Hadron Collider in CERN in Europe are ripping open the fabric of space and mathematics to find the most elementary particles on which the structure of the universe seems to be built. Just two years ago, he'll find his location, just two years ago, the particle physicists needed to confirm how particles have mass, the Higgs boson, was finally identified to truly exist. This particle, which describes essentially how all matter works, will, will, how all matter interacts, will eventually help us further understand just how the universe shows itself as we see it. And it may give us some insight into the nature of dark matter and dark energy the stuff the universe seems to be really made of. The particle physicists and the astrophysicists now work toward the same goal, much like digging a tunnel from opposite directions, hoping to meet in the middle, where their work might combine to create one simple mathematical expression that Einstein chased, the unified field theory. But this time is also challenging, because at the other end of the scale, in an inner human universe, Medical researchers are peeling back the curtains of our understanding on how our brain functions and also learning how our genes can be engineered to combat congenital illness or be manipulated to eliminate flaws in our genome altogether, like correcting human design flaws before they affect the final product, an endeavor just as challenging as trying to learn the true origin of the universe. Consider that just 15 years ago, the sequencing of, human, of the human genome took a year or more and cost $100 million. Today, not only can we do the same task in hours, but the cost has dropped to just over $1,000. But how do we engage that same ingenuity and creativity to help us deal with the challenges presented by climate change? How do we focus the energy we seem to have to build apps designed to swap faces for fun to design low-cost devices that can provide clean water anywhere or increase the productivity of each acre of arable land or food crop without causing uncontrollable collateral genetic or environmental damage? How do we use genetic code manipulation in people to suppress unwanted gene expression without stepping beyond moral boundaries into the realm of gene manipulation for the vanities of cosmetic improvement. So what's your point, I can hear you thinking out there? My point is, this is just a minuscule snapshot of all that is fascinating and amazing in the world of science and technology today. But the advances that come in the next 10 years will be nothing short of phenomenal. To begin with, I can't imagine what incredible new capabilities our smartphones will have. We should have truly affordable, self-driving electric cars. We should have emerging new renewable energy resources. We should have dramatic advances in biotechnology, such as 3D printed custom built organs. I'm looking for a new brain myself. And if Elon Musk is successful, humans will have set foot on Mars. And that's just for starters. Your destiny lies somewhere in the future of all that I've offered as what's interesting, exciting, fascinating, and challenging about right now. Some of you are graduating today, or one of you is graduating today, with the high honor of summa cum laude. Some magna cum laude, others cum laude, and many simply thank you laude. But all of you, but all of you are about to make the future, a future that will be well beyond where we are today. Think of it. 
all of this coming change, in fact, far more will be enacted by you. This is where President Obama's saying has so much meaning for you today. Our destiny is written for us. Our destiny is not written for us, but by us. And I'm the poster child for the expression, you write your own destiny. I have the best job in the world. First of all, I get to meet, greet, and work with some of the most fascinating people doing the most cutting edge work in some of the coolest science installations in the world. And then I get to share with others why STEM is so great. I get to help so many others then begin to understand how important science is to everything they do in life and why they should embrace science to the level that they can. It's important for everyone to embrace science. Now second, when my phone rings on my desk, I never know who will be on the other end. It could be the White House calling, it could be a billionaire looking for a tour of exhibits, it could be Stephen Colbert, it could be a space shuttle commander. All of these things have happened and I never know who I'll end up working with. Once it was Michael Jackson, once it was Carl Sagan, another time it was Buzz Aldrin, another time it was John Glenn, and then the second Star Trek character, Leonard Nimoy, along with George Takai. And then, lastly, another time, it was the entire Obama family. And that's not even the half of it. But the job I have wasn't sitting out there waiting for me to jump into. In fact, the job I have now didn't exist when I first started at TFI, the Franklin Institute, many years ago. There wasn't a chief astronomer position in the science museum field, actually. I actually forced this job into existence by my own will to have a job that allows me to do what I want to do. Like I said, I love science, and I love sharing my enthusiasm for science with people. I used every ounce of creativity and innovation to create what wasn't in existence before I got there. I looked for every chance to add value wherever I could get in value in edgewise. I invented new ways to do things, stole ideas that would work better in our environment. My good friend uh, Keith Johnson, who's here today, knows all about stealing things from planetariums that we can share, right Keith? You know how that goes. Right. And I jumped on every opportunity to learn more and diversify my skill set so that when the new technology of my field became mainstream, I was the one who could most effectively put it to use. I looked for colleagues who were smarter and more experienced so that, than I was so that I could learn from them. I took every opportunity to hone my communication skills to the point where I'm the preferred commentator on astronomy and space science to the world's mainstream media outlets. Mine is the perfect example of a person writing their own destiny. I created a dream career, the likes of which I don't think I could duplicate anywhere, but you can, you can. You must use your intelligence, your creativity, and your innovative abilities to write your own incredible destiny that takes you where you want to go. If you can imagine a career path, even one that doesn't currently exist, you can and you should do all you can to write that destiny for yourself. And you must use those same talents to make a mark on the evolution of this planet. You have a role to play there. Now finally, as you write your destiny, make sure you write that destiny in such a way that you get to learn something new every day, love what it is that you do, share your enthusiasm for that vocation you love, and give something back to the world so that others can benefit from your good fortune. After all, what good is all you've learned, all you've accomplished, all you've created if you don't share it or use it to help someone else? Remember, it's not the science itself that makes the science special. It's the humanity in the science and what the science does for humanity that makes its pursuit worthwhile. Our destiny is not written for us, but by us. As you leave Rowan today, write a destiny for yourselves that will make your time an interesting one in which to live. 
Congratulations to you, class of 2016. I wish you well. I wish you the best of luck to you in whatever destiny it is you write for yourselves. And thank you so very much for this opportunity to share some thoughts with you. The awarding of honorary degrees is a long-standing tradition at Rowan University. We select individuals whose accomplishments are meritorious and provide inspiration to our graduates and to the entire university community. Today, we honor such a person. Derek Pitts has been a staunch supporter of education. He has made great achievements as chief astronomer for the City Skies Urban Astronomy Program and as chief astronomer and director of the Fells Planetarium at the Franklin Institute, as well as in the other areas such as serving as solar system ambassador to NASA. Mr. Pitts is an excellent example for all students, in particular science and mathematics students. Mr. Dr. Newell and Vice Chairman Bruner, please join me at the podium. Mr. Vice Chairman, it is my privilege and pleasure to recommend to you that the honorary degree of Doctor of Science be presented to Derek Pitts for his contributions to the advancement of the fields of science and education. Mr. President, I am pleased to receive this recommendation. By the authority granted to me as Vice Chairman of the Rowan University Board of Trustees, today we honor ourselves as we bestow upon Mr. Derek Pitts, the honorary degree of Doctor of Science with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. This week, we are graduating 25 students who have served our country as members of our military or the National Guard. Many of them have served overseas. We recognize the challenges and hardships of going overseas, then transitioning back home to Rowan to complete their education. Will those students who have served in the military or National Guard please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your service to our country. You may be seated. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to recognize the graduates who have excelled in their academic studies while here at Rowan. These students are graduating today with honors and fall into three levels of achievement. Students graduating cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.45 to 3.64. Will those students who are graduating cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. Students graduating magna cum laude have achieved grade point averages of 3.65 to 3.84. Will those students who are graduating magna cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. And students graduating summa cum laude, the highest honor, have achieved grade point averages of 3.85 to 4.0. Will those students who have achieved this stellar distinction please stand and be recognized?
Thank you. You may be seated. Congratulations to all on your achievements. At this time, I would like to recognize the medallion winners, honors concentration graduates, and our honor society members. They are listed in the program and have been recognized at previous ceremonies. Will all of these graduates please stand? Thank you and congratulations on your achievements. You may be seated. Thank you, Dr. Newell, and congratulations to everyone again. Good morning. I am Dr. Karen McGee Sauer, and I'm the Dean of the College of Science and Math and the School of Health Professions. Today, while we recognize the accomplishments of our students, it is also a perfect opportunity to publicly offer a heartfelt thank you for the service of dedicated faculty members who are retiring this year. Janet Caldwell has been a professor in the math department since 1983. She is the founding director of the South Jersey Regional Mathematics, Computer, and Science Instructional Improvement Project. She has won numerous teaching awards from both national and statewide agencies. Don Fernelli has been a faculty in the physics and astronomy department for more than 50 years. Astronomy is a popular elective, and when I meet alumni, young and old, there is a good chance that they've had astronomy with Dr. Fernelli. Steve Hartley joined the Computer Science Department in 2000. Steve was a true asset to the Computer Science Department, helping grow industrial partnerships as well as serving as department chair. Gary Itzowitz joined the Math Department in 1972. For more than 40 years, including nine years as department chair, Gary has tirelessly helped students develop a true love of math. This year, I also have a distinct pleasure to honor a final retiree who has made special contributions to Rowan University, the community of Glassboro and South Jersey. Keith Johnson came on board in 2004 as the founding director of the Frederick and Jean Edelman Planetarium. During his 11 plus years at Rowan, Keith developed educational programming for thousands of students across South Jersey and created and presented public planetarium shows. Keith has single-handedly made the Edelman Planetarium a must-see attraction in South Jersey, helping to put Rowan on the map during his career here. All of these people deserve a great round of applause for their tremendous contributions to Rowan University. They will be truly missed. From dedicated faculty, we move on to you, the students, why we're here. Congratulations. Rowan University has a strategic goal to be an economic engine of South Jersey. As a graduate of the College of Science of Mathematics or the School of Health Professions, you are the fuel to this engine. But we must remember, the fuel is changing. The fuel of today will not be the fuel of tomorrow. And Rowan knows that. This year, we acknowledge the first graduating cohort for the bachelor's and master's degrees in bioinformatics. Bioinformatics combines computer science, statistics, mathematics, and biology to analyze and interpret biological data. We are also graduating the first master's classes of pharmaceutical sciences and nursing today. These new degrees create skilled workforce needed to meet the demands of the growing biomedical industry of South Jersey region. In the next few years, we will graduate our first classes of health data analytics and translational biomedical sciences. Again, Rowan has created new programs to meet the fuel demand of the South Jersey engine. Did you even know these fields existed even a few years back? In high school, did you say, I'm going to major in bioinformatics? Not one major in bioinformatics knew they were going to do this. Did you know there was such a thing as translational biomedical science? It is our job as professors, as a college, as a university, to promote the training for the fuel that drives our economy. Now that you have developed the ingredients of your fuel, 
This stage of your college experience is complete. But now the questions are, what kind of fuel will you become? Where will your energy be most productive? It will be up to your generation to keep the engine running at optimum performance. The skills you have developed at Rowan will propel you as your fuel is used to combat climate change, find the cure for diseases that span the globe, and work for solutions to complex problems that have yet to be encountered. As you venture forward today, whether you are off to pursue a career or plan to further your education, I challenge you to use your knowledge to, as fuel to create, invent, and educate. Thank you and congratulations. I will now recognize the candidates for the master's degree. Will the candidates for master's degree please rise? Come on. Dr. New, will you please certify the master's degree candidates? Mr. President, the candidates who have successfully met all requirements for the Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Master of Science in Nursing degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Vice Chairman Bruner, these candidates have been certified as having completed all the requirements for graduation. I present them to you as proper recipients of the Masters of Arts, Masters of Science, and Masters of Science in Nursing degree. Masters degree candidates of the class of 2016 who have been certified as having completed all the requirements for graduation by the authority vested in me as Vice Chairman of the Rowan University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the Master of Arts, Master of Sciences, and the Master of Science in Nursing degrees with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please be seated. I will now recognize the candidates for the bachelor's degree. Dr. New, will you please certify the bachelor's degree candidates? Will all Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Nursing students candidates please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, the candidates who have successfully completed all the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts. Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Nursing degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for receipt of their degrees. Vice Chairman Bruner, these candidates have been certified as having completed all the requirements for graduation. I present them to you as proper recipients of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Members of the class of 2016 who have been certified as having completed all the requirements for graduation by the authority vested in me as Vice Chairman of the Rowan University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please be seated. Thank you. It is now time to proceed to the presentation of graduates. Each of our graduates will be called individually by program, beginning with students earning master's degrees and then proceeding with students earning their bachelor's degrees today. For the presentation of graduates, in a couple of minutes, I will turn the microphone over to Dr. David Klassen of the Physics and Astronomy Department and Dr. Peter Radigan of the School of Health Professions in the Department of Health and Exercise Science. Before they begin, though, I would like to ask all family members to remain in their seats so that you will not obstruct the view of others or get in the way of students. 
since we have about 800 graduates. A professional photographer will take three photos of our students, one as they cross the stage, another as they shake hands with me, and a third at the bottom of the stage. The students have been given contact information to have the proofs mailed home. Also, you are welcome to take photos in front of the platform stage at the conclusion of the ceremony. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the reading of the names. We will start with the graduates of the master's programs in the College of Science and Mathematics. Master of Arts in Applied Behavior Analysis, Dr. Mary Louise Kerwin, Department Head. Jacqueline Agnick. Rachel Walzak. Lauren Heller. Sharon Kisby Raring. Elizabeth Monahan. Samantha DeBrisis. Danielle Scott. Renee Herf. Rebecca Shepard. Jamie Pierce. Chanel Stefano Principato. Nicole Keyes. Charlotte Richardson. Joshua Lafort. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Dr. Mary Louise Cohen, Department Head. Nicholas Macaron. Juliana D'Onofrio. Noel Hoffman. Alyssa DeRosa. Alyssa Shalinsky. Master of Arts in Mathematics, Dr. Dexter Whittinghill, Department Head. Patrick Bauer. Raquel Thomas. James Rosado. Master of Science in Computer Science, Dr. Fasili Khanatation, Department Chair. Linda Falcone. Brian Trail. David Gwalthney. Sean Fast. David Shanline. <laughs> June Her. Kevin Dittmar. Aditi Kandalam. Sahana Vardarachu. Kwadi McMillan. Stephen Ferzetti. 
Master of Science in Bioinformatics, Dr. Gregory Caputo, Department Head. Kelly Mulholland. Andrea Jackson. Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Dr. Gregory Caputo, Department Head. Jason Douglas Smith. Sarah Gaudarici. Madesh Varana. Jeremy Clifford. Christina Chrome. Safa Seder. Venkata Agastya Kasabotla. Bawan Patel. Now for the graduates of the master's programs in the School of Health Professions. Master of Arts in Wellness and Lifestyle Management, Dr. Peter Radigan, Department Chair. Nicole Renna. Deborah Cernicola. Fontaine. Joanne Fontaine. Moretta Schroy. Christine Lewandowski. Samantha DeBonis. Brittany Gotch. Desiree Tambasha. Master of Science in Nursing, Dr. Mary Ellen Santucci, Department Chair. Good catch. Mary Beth Walter. Lori Chevalier. Huey. Tanya Hewley. Juvie Lindsay. Teresa Caruso. Janine Burns. Roberta Catullo. Kabura Unilobo. <laughs> Teresa Martone. And now, graduates from the bachelor's degree programs in the College of Science and Mathematics. Psychology, Dr. Mary Louise Kerwin, department head. Nicholas Shankalapur. Shannon Hubbs. Stephanie Tadzinski. Elizabeth Richards. Caitlin Lavoy. Amelia Harrell. Melissa Sherwood. Rebecca Cherincello. Ashley Higginbotham. Asia Ellis. Roshana Williams. Nuato. Nuato. Renee Nuato. <laughs> Jeanette Hernandez. Kristen Allen. Caitlin Gaffney. <laughs> Alyssa Lampedo. Cesar. Cesar. Maureen Sessa. Two two. 
Jessica Turtu. Annika Medha. Giovanna Castro. Geriana Castro. Samara, Samara. Samara Weiss. March. Christopher Marty. Ryan Wingfield. Natalie Torres. Morgan Gilbert. Rebecca Eckhart, Rory Campbell, Gina Marie Rossi, Jenna Vanderwood, Marissa Cerrone, Alyssa Longacre, Ashley Lopez, Karen Elizabeth Israel, Gregory Stackenberg, Sandy Chu, Stephen McAmer, Paul Kelly. Kara Cardona, Ricky Ergo, Nathan Monroe, Andre Graham, Gabrielle Cooper. Al Zahara Hassana, Kelly Babin, Caitlin Yavorsky, Emily Cooper, Amber Redman, Joshua Bonifaz. Michelle Onda, Haley Moore, Fontanella. Kevin Fontanella, El Elba. Elba. Miriam Elbaith, Raj Patel. Caitlin M. Smith, Ashley Lee, Tyree D. Shields, <laughs> Janan Dumont, Denisha Bradley, Julia Marie McKee, Ivan Lopez, Ashasia Sanchez, Courtney Lee Jones, Brianna Morris Smith. Darielle Blaine, Callie Leone, Tabitha Gilbert, Jeremy Martin, Maria Spanos, April Copenhaver. Copenhaver. 
Francis Copiu. Elizabeth Currisk. William Watkins. Tara Mayberry. Ashley Mackin. Brianna Daly. Brittany Patain. Stephen Pino. Juliana Cardillo. Nicole Snyder. Cassandra Hart. Jacqueline Logan. Morgan Olson. Desiree Serrano. Melissa Clements. Sherry Puji. Adeline Shunzel. Ciara Caitlin. Devin Stiles. Angela Perez. Hillary Avis. Abby Michelle Flynn. Julianne Lynn Calabrese. Ashley Nicole Grass. Jabria Barker Moody. Rachel Taylor. James DeFrancesco. Sarah Rowe. Ashley Albert. Raina Dabney. Charlene Newbill. Alicia Mickle. Christina Rossi. Allison Nolan. Elizabeth Highland. Fermina Olivieri. Stephanie Schmidt. Ryan Brunetti. Agatha Amari. Angela Clanchar. Brittany Bucheri. Catherine Susan Solomon. Justina Bechta. Tiffany Gable. David Berg. Crystal Germscheid. Jessica Giordano. Victoria Sharkey. Amanda Tesler. Julia Weiss. Amanda Kusevic. Bailey Kasbarian. Amanda Smedley. Juliana Fazi. Maha Nasir. Victoria Hamilton. Dasmin Gregory. Elena Kielas. Brittany Daniel. 
Markeisha Wright. Kayla Kushner. Lauren Fogarty. Evelyn Marsh. Rafaela Pace. Madison Lee Hall. Samantha Kapuczynski. Melissa Pearson. Alex Brown. Emily DeCoin. Zach Santospelski. Leah Manzo. Ariel Schatz. Nicole Sandus. Joslyn Valentine. Sheena Williams. Lauren Nedahan. Lindsay Hatton. Jessica Sterling. Rebecca Hegeman. Christine Fuschetti. Kristen Leach. Michelle Parsons. Christina Weeks. Jessica Tracy. Kimberly Sheckler. Nicolette Carlini. Thomas Jala. Rayana Malika Martin. Janiah L. Webbs. Daniela Lato. Maria Dennis. Christopher Andreas. Jacqueline Petrossi. Lamar Murray. Michelle Germano. Melissa Clare. Mode Paola Oetunde. Tristan Meredith Wilson. Danielle Cooker. Danielle Brancato. Caitlin Murphy. Scott Morales. Josemary Reyes. Shannon Govac. Denise Malave. Crystal Jimenez. Ilana Ramirez. Shiante Chirales. Da One. Richard Verticelli. Jenna Novotny. Alyssa Chilton. Kelly Chester. Anthony Elefante. George Michael Pierce III. Chris Mucci. Nicole Irene Rothberg. Alex Ann Kulish. Caitlin Cassell. Ralph DeUgar. De 
Shara Baldi. Alyssa Labar. Kristen A. Wright. Kelly O'Brien. Alex Gunnarsson. I'm not important. Stephen Aramberry. Vanessa Cassano. Matthew O'Leary. Patrick Donahue. Addison Johnson. Larissa Lukach. Claire Dowder. Alexis Kearney, Haley McDonald, Alex Tricoli, Stephen Schramm, Destiny Lynn Hill, Robert Brown, Brianne DeAndrea. Robert Wesley Ziders, Stephanie Rubin, <laughs> Nikonia Fanagerkis, <laughs> Kirsten Note, <laughs> Erica Cruz. Lauren Fiorenzo. <laughs> Dylan Makovich. Daniel Gould. Timothy McDaniels, Jr. Physics. Dr. Eddie Guerra, Department Chair. Andrew Wenzel, <laughs> Brittany Florek, Robert Walco, Paul Hornberg, James Robertson, Mitchell Jablonski, Stephen DeStefano, Sean Wood, Samuel Duran. Emily Smith, Zachary Norris, Nelson Chan, Joshua Berg, Jennifer Hildebrand, Kyron Johnson, David Nelson, Tyler Rogers, Alfredo Powad. Prescott Ivy, Richard Wright, Nathan Wolf, Daniel Banker, Stephen M. Kutzka, Charles Scott, Samantha Mazzi, Jesse Kozier, Sarah Kessler, Alexander Reedy, Anne Rebecca, Thomas Dara. Mathematics, Dr. Dexter Whittinghill, department head. Jessica Lutz. 
John Kumpf. Sal Ficara. Kristen Lawler. Bianca Brooks. Caitlin Zimzak. Corey Vollmer. Brian Swatek. Corey Levan. Krista Diodati. Danny Lamberson. Joseph Dinsmore. Joseph Sorolo. Ben Jordan. Rafael Martinez. Keith Watkins. Brian Lindorf. Jessica Leonard. Joseph Antonelli. Ryan Fetters. Paul Rebecca. Ryan West. Jessica Beal. Jessica Simber. Sarah Daywood. Ryan Rainey. Heather Cicero. Valerie Gambino. Miranda Pellicciotti. Megan Ryan. Ma Amy Colsat. Christina Knack. Kyle Hyam. Computer Science, Dr. Fasila Khanatashan. Department Chair. Eve Ciancia. Kevin McBain. Brian Grillo. John Madigan III. Mr. Glassman 2005! Kevin Shea. Benson Shu. William Raymond Clark. Gregory Sooner. Jeremy Choice. Richard Cerrone. Nicholas Mariani. Adam Kennett. Jordan Holly. Hawiar Hussein. Dominic Palazzo. Joseph Proleka. Kyle Hershey. Thomas Sullivan. Tyler Angel. Edward Carter. Michael Schoblock, Justin Highland, Adello. Max Odello, Sean V. Menon, Darren Martin, Dante Lauren O'Brien. Arun Chantirakathan. James O'Donnell. Nick Castellucci. Joshua Dickinson. 
Frank Allen Stas Jr. Robert Seedorf. Very slight change of plan. We will do the School of Health Professions in two segments. First, nursing. Mary Allen Santucci, department chair. Mary McGone. Sandy Gonzalez. Colleen Green Veerling. Jason Burgess. Lakeisha Johnson. Crystal Praise Rollins Gautier. Angel Angelique Cerulli. Mildred L. Sampson. Back to the College of Science and Math, Biology, Dr. Maria Tomont, Department Chair. Robert Brennan. Alexis Kennedy. Joel Howell. Carlos Cardenas. Okay, we good. Um, biological Sciences, Dr. Maria Tamo, Department Chair. Eric Saya. Anne Marie E. Johnson. Oh. Ashley Fuller. Victoria Livesey, Kristen Daly, Kelsey Stefano, Zoe McAvoy, Scott Eric, Carly Biondi, Julia Bocanfuso. Caitlin Horgan. Jess Casterline. Nicole Solomon. Amanda Roma. Dakota Wiggins. Eleni Brecht. Michelle Alsbach. Augusto Silva. Nicholas Amoriello. Michael L. Mead. Joseph Kwok. Shane Vini. Olatunde Kupakrine. <laughs> Kupanini. <laughs> Mark Dittmar. Adorinto. Isaac Adorinto. Crystal Thompson. Bushar Ali. <laughs> Haley Madison Mickle. Elena Irene Banzoff. Erin Marie Mignon Dockerty. Casey Capazzoli. Kimberly Rayfine, Jenna Freund, 
Christine Freiberger. Christina Ricci. Kylie Stark. Nina King. Brittany Bird. Davanika Patel. David Carmona. Alexandra DeVentra. Philip Livingston. Kelsey Graham. Tina, Tara Fortino. Brittany Moody. Kelsey Rivicki. Jeffrey Kelly. Andrea Costantini, Matthew Kravetsky, Nathan Counselor, Obina Akuma, Jason Fenimore, Samantha Nemeth, Jessica Seahouse. Victoria Jar, Paul Dortena, Garrett Okomsky, Zachary Lippert, Tracy Sepsi, Lauren Nicole Tumblety, Madison Trisha Lawson. Patrick Finnerty, Jonathan Glover, Sean Henry, Jacob Andreas, Christopher Castro, Kevin D'Amico, Christopher Comer, Jennifer Gutierrez. Veronica May Lopez. Marina Acedo. Samantha Dwight. Elizabeth Watson. Matthew Corbett. Amina Wagner, Christina Lee, Bianca Brown, Catherine Berman, Emily Schmidt, Biochemistry, Dr. Gregory Caputo, Department Head. My apologies, Biological Sciences. Maria Tamel, Department Chair. Eric Bayes. Mariah Francisco. Elizabeth Wisniewski. Frankie Goris. Rahul Tripathi. Alexandria Nardoni. Angela Sargent. Scarlin Eskea. Shannon Estevez. Cassandra Ramirez, Richard Suarez, Hadad. 
Johnny Haddad. Manelson Louis Batis. Yash Patel. Akshari Patel. Oyinyachi Obel. Alexis Montez. Kimberly Ignace. Jessica Perez. <laughs> Katharina Alapat. Raj Kathari. <laughs> Catherine Centrito. Jessica Garbeck. Carmen Nicole Wilton. Michelle Moorman. Katrina DeJean. Aliyah Johnson. Idamwan Tracy Iwika. Edmund Ongro. Saad Noman. Charlie Chakowski. Leah Rosenberg. Lucilia Santos. Amanda Hughes. David Green, Patrick Bailey, Rebecca Crother, Christine Collins, Nicole Ruiz, Christine Avery, Rodney Morrison, Jr. Killian O'Gorman. April Michelle Novak. Benjamin Daffalo. Paul Comber. David Crowell. Sarah Sanula. Caitlin Stackhouse. Amber Bush. Alicia Marie Nordberg. Margaret Morris. Camille Elliott. Rajuta Bhat Farron. Essence Quanice Henry. Carla Ordonez. Elise Lesperance. Morgan Ivans. Lauren Greenwood. Veronica Jazorski. 
Tanya Pereira. Paul Parmet. Allison Murphy. Jack Maurice Ogu. Alexander Gallo. Christian Savayos. <laughs> Natalie Chambers. McElvey. Ashley McKelvey. <laughs> Alexandra Quinones. <laughs> Brittany Thompson. Elise Sack. Brandon D'Angelo. Jay Cha. Alex Zuniga. Okay, for real. Biochemistry. Dr. Gregory Caputo, department head. Catherine Lupino. Patricia Mary Landick. Kaylee Stamen. John Tkaczynski. Evan Winslow. David Gould. Griffin Fountain. Andrew Kalish. Ian Hansen. Tanya Ponce. Michelle Pham. Nidia Patel. Clark Bishop. <laughs> Hannah Burke. <laughs> Hannah Hogue. <laughs> Andrew Rocco. Ardina Moses. <laughs> Michael Perillo. Adriana Gambino. Anajali Cardoso. Joshua Bartos. Samantha Sustek. Ryan Kraus. Nicholas Ficarella. What's it? Ficarella. Nicholas Ficarella. Ananth Kumar. Ananth Kumar. Edward Goldschmidt III. Julian Pino. Eric Herman. Olivia Vojtovic. Carly Stein. Gormanat Karlra. Erica Avery. Kimberly St. Jean. Chemistry, Dr. Gregory Caputo, department head. Alexander Beebe. Rose Snyder. Christine Kanglin. 
Amy Sobel. Matthew Rhodes. Min Su Shi. Olivia Feebig. Alexandra Marie Miller. Alex D. Bates. Graham Hound. James Santos. Ryan Kerfoot. Naquan McRae. Ryan Dugan. Umair Tariq. Kunal Patel. Stephen Siri. Maggie Wynn. Shane Philippi. Thomas Reardon. Bioinformatics, Dr. Gregory Caputo, Department Head. Julianne Marie Thornton. Alexander Maramianan. Abigail Smith. And finally, graduates, or the rest of the graduates, from the bachelor's degree programs in the School of Health Professions. Athletic Training, Dr. Peter Radigan, Department Chair. Jay Torres. Shailen Novak. Shannon Steelman. Daniel Kirk. Chris, Christopher Santos. Brian Hanna. Raymond Reyes. Samantha Fanick. Dylan Harrington. Jennifer Franco. Connor Thompson. Matt Cleaver. Jessica Bullman. Alan J. Heller. G. Taylor Holland. Health and Exercise Science, Dr. Peter Radigan, Department Chair. Mike Stiles. Brittany Ramos. Tyler Glass. Denise Carita. Ashley DeMarco. Yanira Sintron. Susan Pearls. Samantha Apple. Samantha Peralta. Chris Alvarez. Sean Borkowski. Casey Francisco. Emily Jarazowitz. Jeffrey Toriello. Joheem Spinella. Marissa Muccio. Jenna Glassman. 
April Tamburo. Lauren Petraglia. Kelsey Carbonetta. Mike Signata. Steven Canaro. Michael Wolf. Scott Bryson. Chelsea Schweihart. Joshua Caleb Moore. John D. McClay III. Alyssa Mary Domena. Elizabeth Walls. Lisa Lazinski. Jeremy Saluga. John Torrey. David Manzo. Zachary Spordone. Ashley Connor. Brittany Kiley. John Pastridge, Vincent Lombard, Rachel Sisholtz, Brett Cristino, Allison Mitchell, Katina Loizos. Victoria Hansen. Bridget Passarella. Chelsea Talia Taggart. Stephanie Noel Peterson. Andrew Garcia. Stephanie Druziaco. Caitlin Medic, Julia Del Nero, Sarah Seidman, Michael Bortnowski, John George, Erica Duffy, James Breen. Stephen Metropolis, Richard R. King III, Michael Brown, Alexandra Bellotti, Jessica Kidd, Kevin McManaman, Coleman Rains, Jessica Clark, Sarah Johannes, Christian Wakamaita, Abigail Gillum. Michelle Rosenberg, Thomas Edward Powell, Dominic Joseph Derizio, Paige Eddy, Julian Swisher, Lawrence Quinn, John Carr. James Schneider, Andrew Ubill, Riddell, Riddell, Kyle Riddell, 
Joseph Shengrund. Kieran Bibbs. Sean Carberry. Portillo Moro. Daniel Portillo Moro. Christopher Basso. Denny Cortez. Jose Ledesma Jr. Douglas Barrick. Dave Correa. Michael Cece. Francis Wilkes. Mackenzie Leeds. Joseph Gonzalez. Danielle Liner. Santiago Garzon. Fred Schwint Jr. Joseph Beerley. Nicholas Krenas. Syra Nasir. Huba Nasir. Meryl Faye Abog. Jenny Nguyen. Robert Hablitzel. Lauren Longo. Alyssa Faya. Alyssa Carto. Megan Gray. William Eldridge. Taylor Mogar. Kelly Smith. Carvel Jean Phillip. Lamar Brown. Angelique Brown. Valerie Fleming. Joey Inarado. Ben Maffitt. DeAndre Miller. Anthony Varelli. Brianna Adamson. Erica Sewell. Jenna Pressler. Marissa Marini. Health and Physical Education, Dr. Peter Adigan, Department Chair. Aaron Burnett. Tyler Bailey. Maggie Katharina. Rachel Emerson. Carmela Pagliarulo. Kimberly Rodolfi. William Wilcox. Ryan Gilmore. Joseph McKenna. John Lacella. Frank Anthony Cortez. Gregory Matchett. Kyle Muckley. Jonathan Robbins. <laughs> Carrie Ann Manziano. 
Dante Stokes. Ashley Lauer. Ashley DeYoung. Michelle Relation. Maxwell Rambo. Kristen Smith. Michael Allen. Heidi Avrov. whoever made the decision to have the ceremony outside today. This was truly a great decision. So thank you for attending today's ceremony and congratulations to all of our students. The audience is requested to remain in place until the platform party has recessed. Shuttles and golf carts back to the parking lots are available for those who need them in parking lot R at the back of the green and on the left side of the green between Bunce Hall and the baseball field. Will everyone rise for the alma mater and remain standing for the benediction? Wait, 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 wait. Whoops. Right here. Oh, sorry. Page 33. Yep, sorry. We almost really messed it up. So. So close. So close. Sorry. So, it's my pleasure to introduce Kunal, Mr. Kunal Patel. This is the most important part. The student trustee of the Rowan University Board of Trustees. Thank you. I guess they didn't want me to speak today. <laughs> but uh, before I begin, I want to comment on the weather. Um, I think it's only fitting that it rains a little on our commencement after four years of torrential downpour in Glassboro, New Jersey. I think it's only fitting we get a little drizzle today. But greetings, graduates, family members, administrators, fellow board members, faculty members, and loved ones. As a proud member of the class of 2016 and as the student trustee on Rowan's Board of Trustees, I'm honored to be able to speak to all of you today. Just a few years ago, we waited impatiently by our mailboxes and computer screens. Thank you. <laughs> for the news that we were accepted into Rowan University. At the time, we might not have realized how impactful that day would be for all of us. But as we stand here today, as one, as the smart, talented, and can I say great looking class, in fact, let me get a selfie real quick. You'll see the hashtag later. <laughs> I'm sure we all realize that the moment we were welcomed into the Rowan family was truly life-changing. For most of us, we came here for the academics, those small classroom experiences, those challenging hours of intellectual growth were of a paramount importance. They set the foundation for the professional success that we will achieve in our chosen fields. But many of us didn't anticipate what the experiences outside the classroom would also have a great impact on us. Our row in education taught us how, the, how to use the knowledge and opportunities we've gained at the university to make a world a better place. Simply put, in ways big and small, we learn to give back, and we embrace those opportunities to serve others, to distinguish us as profs. 
Some of us have spent countless hours in research labs to find cures for diseases such as cancer, Parkinson's, drug addiction. We've traveled to some of the most impoverished countries in the world, working to bring necessities like water, education, and medicine to people we've never met. We've volunteered locally as well, tutoring school children, helping out our Glassboro neighbors with yard work, or saving lives as volunteers with Rowan EMS. Our work has helped break down cultural and social barriers. We played basketball and soccer side by side with young people with disabilities through Rowan Unified Sports. We've helped spearhead the creation of new policies on campus for gender inclusive housing, preferred name status, and gender neutral restrooms. Through education and advocacy, we took a strong sense, stance on the issue of sexual assault on college campuses. And we've had fun too, through St. Baldrick's Day, Relay for Life, dance-a-thons, and other events where we raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for groups like the Pediatric Cancer Research, the American Cancer Society, the Children's Miracle Network, and the Special Olympics. So to all the parents out there that thought all we did was go to class and have fun on the weekends, we all should have volunteered. Clearly, we are an accomplished class. We should take great pride in all that we have achieved. But we need to remember one thing. Our accomplishments are not, nor will they ever be, one person effects. So to the moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, boyfriends and girlfriends, and wives and husbands, best friends, mentors who are here today, please know that you are all extraordinary. We would not be here today without your unwavering and unconditional love and support. You believed in us when graduating from Rowan was nothing more than a dream. You are our greatest fans and our strongest advocates. And from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. In creating my speech for today, I watched a lot of YouTube videos of commencement speakers. In most, each speaker wished the graduating class the best of luck in the future. I will not be doing that today. I am a firm believer that luck is for those who believe success happens by accident. Hard work, on the other hand, is for those who know success is a choice. Class of 2016, I have seen your ability to work hard. The people on this podium have seen everyone work hard. People surrounding you have seen what you can accomplish if you work hard. I have no doubt that we will all be successful as we build our careers and continue the Rowan tradition of serving others. Congratulations, Rowan University, class of 2016. Now, will all bachelor degree gra graduates please rise for the tossing of the tassel from right to left. Please join me on the count of three. One, two, three. All bachelor graduates may be seated. Thank you. Now, will everyone please rise for the alma mater and remain standing for the benediction and recess recessional.
As commencement 2016 comes to a close, our graduates move on one step closer toward their professional future. Soon they will celebrate with their families and friends what I trust has been a wonderful day ending a remarkable university career. Class of 2016, today is an ending and a beginning for all of us, myself included. I am retiring after 52 years teaching here at Rowan University, and like you, I embrace the future with excitement and maybe a little anxiety. My wish for you is that the excitement is the dominant emotion. You not only leave here a graduate, but you also prepare to enter the next chapter of your lives, perhaps graduate school, military service, volunteerism, an internship, a new job. You have much to celebrate, much to remember, and much to pursue. You will face new challenges and shoulder much responsibility. Life will present you with challenges that will challenge your professional preparation. Throughout whatever the future holds, I encourage you to continue to learn, follow your passion, contribute to your communities, live an honorable life, and make a difference. As we give thanks for this day, I end with a quote from a truly great president, Abraham Lincoln, who said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Now go and create. And may God bless the class of 2016, and God bless America.
Cause he's crazy. 